I can't either. Uh, oh, it looks like it's been bumped. Oh, look what we got. Is he dead? Is he dead already? Yeah, yeah he's dead. Look. It's just like I thought. It was a two-year-old beaver. Look at him. A bad oh, no, that's a perfect catch. See how we got him behind the head? We got him right by the body. Yeah. He was dead instantly. He didn't even suffer. His teeth and his tongue are yeah. sticking out. You see how his teeth are orange? See how they look like they're rotting? They're not. That's actually it's. They're infused with iron to make them strong, so he can chew through trees. That's why they're orange like that. I'm glad that color. <laughs> yeah. That would be cool. We come across this beaver lodge here. It's uh, this is all new. It, that food pile that wasn't there two months ago when I come down river. Uh, back through here is all. It's just little saplings all over, and they've just destroyed this area. I was guessing this little lodge was from a couple two-year-old beavers that got kicked out of their lodge this spring. So far, I'm right. That looks like a two-year-old to me. Uh, I got two more traps back over here. They're setting two runs that they were using to get back into the saplings. Come on, let's go see if we can find them. You remember where we set them? Here, I'll help you. Yep. Let's go see. That's the lights. I know. Where's our traps at? Right there. What's right there? A beaver. <laughs> we got another one. It's a frozen beaver. Yeah. We got him sometime last night. I was wrong. This is a family. This thing's, this is big. Look at that. So that tells me that it's a mom, a dad, and that wasn't a two-year-old. This thing, holy cow, look at this thing. Oh, oh my God, I think that's the biggest beaver I've caught yet. That's huge. He dead? Oh yeah, he's dead. <laughs> that is the biggest beaver I've caught yet. God, that thing's gotta be 60 pounds. You can touch them. <laughs> and I set right here there's a run I'll see if I I don't know if you can get it in there or not the run goes back into them saplings and they just had it completely chewed up I got another trap where was my other trap right oh, my other traps right over there I can't see it yet but it's just where these end, it's just pure mud. I mean, they've just used it so much. I, I don't know how many hundreds of trees they cut down, but they've done damage all up and down this river too. I've traveled this river quite a bit and they've, I've never seen this much damage in it before. So it's good to get these guys out. That's, I'm very excited about that. That thing is massive. I can't, uh, because of gas in the boat, I can't, I don't know if I'll have enough to make it back up here and then back down to my truck tomorrow. So I won't, I'm gonna pull these traps today, but I, if I can get back out again, I might set this lodge again, cause these beaver, these beaver are doing real big damage on this river. But we did good so far. Let's see if we got one more. I'll have to go over there. Cause I don't think you can get over there. Nope, nothing in this one. And this is the one that I said, this is really beat down. I'd be very surprised if I didn't get anything in this one. And I didn't get anything in this one. Hey, we got two out of three. That's pretty good odds. There's another big one in here. I guarantee it. Is that a mom or a dad? I don't know. We'll have to look. Is he heavy? Yeah, he's heavy. <laughs> Why? Because he's dead. Yeah, but so is the steak that you ate last night. So is the chicken that you're going to eat. 
No. That's why they're here, so we can eat them. And these are the healthy ones to eat. Yeah. yeah. Look how thick it is. So it keeps them warm. So I spend. Spring? I'm sure they do. Oh yeah, look at the size difference. Look at that. Hey, we got two beaver out of the river though. They won't be chewing all the trees down no more. Maybe daddy will come back in the spring and I'll trap this again, we'll get the other ones. Or maybe I'll come back next weekend. Mm -hmm. I'll come back. You don't have to come back. No, <laughs> This thing, I, wanna, I wish I had my scale to weigh it. Ugh. He's big. That's got to be 60 pounds. <laughs> He's either the biggest or the second biggest beaver I ever caught. Here, you want to hold this one? Yeah. Hold it like this. And face, face mommy. Look, you pick it up. <laughs> Here, we'll get a picture like this. Hold them. <laughs> Ready? Go. Pick it up. Pick it up. And smile. There. <laughs> we'll get a picture. I'll screenshot that, and that'll be the thumbnail for the video. How's that? All right. All right. Well, we're on a family Thanksgiving camping adventure. I was going to come out and do some deer hunting. I just ain't going to get no deer hunting in. I went last yeah, no. night. It, it's just too hard to deer hunt out here, but we're going to have Thanksgiving beaver. Yeah. You haven't eaten beaver yet, have you? You're going to tonight. Yes, you are. Uh-huh, and you're gonna like it. I'll tell you, it's chicken, how's that? <laughs> Don't get in the boat, I'll wait till I can help you in. All right, let's get these guys in there. Try some? No. Yeah, you are. No, no. Look at it. It just yeah. falls right apart. I took uh, one of the back legs off that big beaver. Give you an idea what I did. I took and uh, tied it up to a log in the river. Let the water just wash by it for a few hours. It takes all the, basically all the gamey flavor and the, the blood away from it. But, I mean, it's just falling apart. But, what I did is I went from there and I kind of browned it up on the, the fire outside, seasoned it up, browned it up, and then uh, brought it in here and put it in the stew. Let me get some of this. The stew, you can put whatever you want in it. I just got just different vegetables and then seasoning. I use a lot of uh, uh, barbecue sauce and Worcestershire sauce, salt. Pretty much anything that tastes good I put in there. I got black beans in there. I got some diced uh, tomatoes. Green beans. Green beans. Potato. Yeah. I just cooked it right here on top of the stove too all day. It's been cooking about, I don't know, six hours or so. Some points it was boiling, some points it wasn't. The can cooker works perfect for that though. Look how it just falls right apart. Look at that. How much do you want? Two pieces, that's it. No more than two. 
I'll give you two big pieces. Oh, that's hot. Give me two small pieces. All right, but I think you're gonna actually like it because I tried a piece. Spoiler alert, it's pretty good. Well, I don't know that everybody hmm. has different taste buds. That's true. But you do like a lot of wild stuff. Mm, no, I don't. Yeah, you do. I don't like beer. Yes, you do. I like chicken. <laughs> you having fun? Mm-hmm. You want to do this again next Thanksgiving? Nope. Because this is, you know how people eat uh, turkey for Thanksgiving? Yep. We're eating beaver. Thanksgiving beaver. Do you like, you like beaver trapping with me? Nope. Yes, you do. I know. You have so much fun. Like yeah, you do. Yes, you do. Yeah. I don't like it. All right, you got to try another piece. Do not film me. Hot. Try another piece. I don't like it. Mmm. Looks really good. Tastes just like a pot roast. That's not. You said if I don't like it, I don't have to eat it. Hot. It's good, isn't it? It's real good. It's just like pot roast. I wouldn't know it was beaver. I would know right when I first tried it. You're so over dramatic. <laughs> it's my turn now. See, I already know what it tastes like though, because I cheated and I tried a piece earlier. Yeah, but you didn't try it together. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's so good. I think the biggest thing about uh, cooking beaver is getting all the fat off it and then soak it for a while and I use a river but uh, if I don't have the river around uh, salt water for at least four hours if I can soak it overnight that's what I do but if you slow cook it it just like I said it falls right apart I mean it's it literally tastes like a pot roast a sweet pot roast I don't think I, it's between Beaver and porcupine. I can't tell what my two favorite wild game are. Well, this is the first time we ever did this. Uh, I, this is where I, if you watched any of my last videos, where I was doing some small game hunting. It's the same campsite I was at. I convinced these two to come out with me this time. Kind of. I know you just decided you wanted to go, didn't you? Yeah. But we had so I mean, we had a great time. It was a blast. We took the boat up the river. There was a, so much damage from beaver up and down this river it wasn't here last year there's a few families i think living around here i took one of the the adults it was a male actually two males it was a this year's kit and then a, the adult male i took out of that lodge then like i said when when i come down the river last time when i stayed here two months ago that that feed pile wasn't there i mean they they killed a couple hundred trees just to make that in a matter of a month month and a half i think at least there's the the damage will be less now but they're still going to do it i'm gonna hopefully if I, if the river doesn't freeze where i can put in downstream i'm gonna come back up and trap that and then i pass two more lodges that they're building downstream a few miles i'm gonna try trapping them too because if i don't take some of them out they're going to keep chewing a lot of these trees down around here those would be for different videos not staying out at night but just more setting traps one day and go back and check in the next day We'll see what else, like I said, more beaver trapping to come. Hopefully some squirrel hunting, no deer hunting. I went out one time, I didn't get nothing. May I actually, I might go deer hunting this year a few times, so that might be up next. But for sure more beaver trapping and uh, hopefully some porcupine and squirrel and stuff like that, so we'll see. Thanks for watching.